As if we didn't have enough to worry about, new research claims the Earth's inner core has stopped spinning. And now some scientists believe it could even reverse direction within the next decade. Are we doomed? Let's ask a certified genius here with me tonight. You know him from ancient aliens, theoretical physicist and author of The God Equation, The Quest for a Theory of Everything. Great book. Get it now. Dr. Michio Kaku is back. Welcome back, sir. Glad to be on. So uh, the, the inner core is solid. And apparently it's angry because it was spinning. It was doing just fine, according to two very credible Chinese researchers. And then it just stopped spinning. Does that mean once it reverses, we're, we're going to be consumed by natural disasters? <laughs> no, but Hollywood almost got it right. There's a movie called The Core, where the core of the Earth stops spinning, the magnetic field collapses, the atmosphere <laughs> collapses, all hell breaks loose. And now we have scientists at Beijing University saying it's happening. Yeah. The core of the Earth has, in fact, come to a halt in 2009. Mm -hmm. And now it's about to go backwards, they think. Mm -hmm. Now, how do they do this? How do you figure out what's happening underneath your feet thousands of miles? The way they do it is by anal analyzing earthquakes. When an earthquake happens, shock waves go bouncing around the inside of the Earth through the core and creates echoes. A computer then analyzes the echoes and then pieces it together. Mm -hmm. That's how we know what the core of the Earth looks like. And we find out that, yes, yes, indeed, the core has come to a halt, mm -hmm. but so what? It turns out that every 70 years or so, ah. it does this. It's periodic. Is it like it, a maunder butterfly, but different? Yeah, well, it goes back and forth, back and forth every 70 years. Yeah. Plus, think, think of it this way. This is the crust of the Earth. Mm -hmm. This is the core of the Earth. They're actually disengaged. One can stop, and the other one can remain uh, moving. So they're decoupled. And the reason for that is there's a liquid metal layer around the So the, the outer core. core is liquid, and the inner core is solid. Solid. Yeah, same and materials, though, correct? Right, therefore, they could be decoupled. Oh, and so that's like why Chris the, Martin and Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> right. So that's why the uh, the Earth has been going backwards since antiquity, mm. and we're still here. And so there's nothing to worry about. But Hollywood, of course, can sell lots of tickets now. <laughs> yes. Because they can say, yes, yes, we predicted it. The Earth's core can stop. So is there a possibility that this process, this 70-year process? could have some effects on the environment. And maybe some of the things that we are seeing in the environment aren't necessarily all man-made, but some of them could be impacted by a reversal of the inner core spinning. That's the big question. Because now that we know that the core and the crust are slightly decoupled, mm -hmm. the question is, so what? What does it mean? It could have an impact on global warming mm -hmm. and also continental drift. The continents, of course, move because of motion inside the Earth, which is pushing the United States away from Europe. Yes. That's called continental They say President drift. Trump did the same thing. <laughs> so here we have a situation where, yeah, the fact that the core of the Earth is not synchronized with the crust of the Earth mm -hmm. because of there's this layer of liquid metal, it does mean that it could have some contribution to continental drift. Yes, and that, in effect, could have a, an, an impact on our weather and our That's climate right. and changes that we can't necessarily anticipate, but we tend to get really, really mad at ourselves. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's a way of being better stewards of the Earth without being scolded every five minutes. Right, and we know that the Earth is dynamic, like the North Pole, for example. The North Pole is moving. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, yeah, every year you can actually calculate the rate at which the North Pole moves. Yes. And so, yes, the Earth is dynamic. We have to get rid of this idea that it's solid like the Earth. <laughs> yes. No, it's not so solid. Have we ever dug to the middle of the inner core? No, not even close. Do we want to? No. <laughs> what would happen if we did? Well, it's pretty dangerous as you go down. It gets hotter and hotter. Mm. And, uh, of course, when you get down to the, the center of the core, it gets very thousands of degrees by that point. Yeah, and there's no silicone oven mitts that would protect us from that sort of heat. No. <laughs> yeah. It's not a microwave oven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well... I, I like these stories because I like the scientific explanation. It mm -hmm. always brings me a great deal of comfort knowing that there are things much larger than us that are beyond our control, mm -hmm. and we can explain them, but we don't have to live in fear of them. That's right. And, and that's, we can also that's understand them, too. Yes. You know, the dynamics are actually knowable. You can teach kids the motion of these things inside mm -hmm. the planet Earth. 
Yeah, which in turn gives us continental drift, the weather, and so on and so yeah, forth. Yeah, exactly. So you may be on to something. I hope people listen to you. I'm going to go home and explain it to my girls tonight. I, I doubt they'll come out of their rooms to hear it, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Dr. Cocky, thank you so much. Always good to talk to you. My pleasure. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm.